Look like Flintstone vitamins. Wow. So old. Yeah. 10th <laughs> century. These steps are really steep. What's this place called? Bur Burana Tower. Okay. Oh, you got it going. We're in Bishkek, another day on the road, ready to, ready to head to Burana Tower. I think it's about an hour and a half drive. Um, hopefully we don't get stopped this time um but yeah, yeah if you watched our last our last video we had a, a little bit of bad luck in getting pulled over but it was our fault so we'll try and do better yeah i'll be a, i'll be a safe <laughs> a safe um defensive driver this time safe defensive driver sorry <laughs> cheers extend please <laughs> i apologize i'll try and follow the law um, but anyways, got an hour and a half drive, so I don't think it should be, shouldn't be too bad. It wasn't really too bad yesterday. Uh, once you get out of the city, the traffic's not bad. Um, and the speed limit really isn't, doesn't, doesn't really get that, that bad either, so. Yeah, it's like 9 a.m. on a Sunday also, so yeah. hoping that traffic will be, traffic will be lighter good. than usual. All right, let's go. Let's go. go. <laughs> To the Barana Tower. It's a really it good view. Like two hours ago, but it looks like there's only a couple of people here. Yeah. So it be nice. It's a really good view of the mountains. And then also, I think those are wheat fields out there. Pretty cool view of the wheat fields. There's a tower up ahead. This looks like a little little creek. Nice little doggy. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful day today for November. Yeah, it's like perfect. I'd say. I would think it'd be a little cooler, but it doesn't feel that cold. I think it's, I think it's 50, supposed to get up to 63 today. Shout out to the U.S. Looks like they uh, they provided some funding for this. So, okay. so this is a World Heritage Site, and it's um, it's been identified as a medieval settlement uh, founded in the early 10th century. And then the most noticeable structure, obviously, is the tower. <laughs> Um, which is a medieval minaret made of fired brick. Um, it dates from the late 10th century and is considered to be, this is interesting, it's considered to be the earliest surviving minaret in all of Central Asia. So that's pretty cool. This is a vivid example of how Muslim cities developed in the northeastern part of Central Asia during the Middle Ages. Wow. So old. Yeah. 10th century. 
this is the map here for the complex. If you look closely, you can see that. It's literally just a screenshot from Google Maps. And it says, uh, 23 minutes, best route now due to traffic conditions. It's literally just a screenshot that they printed out from Google Maps. I don't know if this is a translation error, but if you look up the ancient settlement on Google Maps, they have it noted on here just as Ghost Town. Ghost Town? That's <laughs> funny. All right, we're going to go climb up to the top of the tower. We got our tickets, it was about $1 to get in. So no one's really here right now. So we're gonna climb up while there's not a crowd. So here we go. Tight and it's steep. Now well, we can try it. This is so steep and it's like pitch black. Pretty steep steps. Yeah. It gets steeper right around that curve. I'm gonna try going up. It's literally pitch black over here. All right, so I can see the top. It's not, it's not as bad, not as bad as I thought that these steps are really steep and big. It's almost more like a ladder than steps. Good 360 view up here. So we made it to the top. The steep the steps are really steep um, and they're really big steps, so it's kind of hard to get up. And I feel like it's going to be even harder getting down. You get a really good view of the countryside and of the mountains and of the city over there. There's some horses off in the distance. It does seem, the steps do seem pretty sturdy up here, which is good, um, but they're just a little hard to climb up and there's no light. So the whole way it's dark, you gotta use your flashlight and almost climb up on your hands and knees. But um, worth it for the view. So the tower, yeah, it's so bright out, is over there, and then over here, uh, we walked over because there's something else over here. It looks like stone statues, rock paintings, tools made of stone, um, stone statues that were collected from the valley from like around the same time as the tower, 6th to 10th century. And then there's some engravings on the stones as well. So let's go see what it is. It looks like people. Yeah, it looks like people engraved on them. Look like Flintstone vitamins, like giant Flintstone vitamins. Yeah. Where it's like the engravings are not great. They're worn yeah, down. Stone ball balls. Ball balls. Stone ball balls. Belongs to the 7th through 10th centuries. Oh, it's kind of the same thing that it said over there. Mm -hmm. And then this one says, yeah, same thing. Wow, these look really old. How <laughs> oh, they're like worn down. Yeah, they're really worn down. It's pretty cool.
this one's like completely almost flat. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Like how you could see a stone and have no idea. Like it could just look plain now, but then it like used to be something. It like could have been a carving. Yeah. Driving and this car pulled out right in front of us and then another car pulled out right behind it and it looks like it's just being towed along. I guess at least there's a guy in the, in the other car but I was like, um, I guess that's what happens in the countryside. Yeah, that's the tow, that's the tow truck. Yeah, that's the tow truck. I don't know where, I don't know where around here they're taking, they're probably to some, I guess, very local mechanic. Hey, see some cool stuff out here. These roads are so bumpy. This is gonna be like the shakiest <laughs> video ever. But it's beautiful. Yeah, it's very, very pretty. 360 views. Magnificent drive. <laughs> got the Russian thing on the side of the road. <laughs> Is that real? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I think it's just like, probably like decommissioned, I'm sure, but Tom Cruise could fly it. Whoa. We were driving and all of a sudden this popped up so we had to stop and see it. It's old Russian MiG-23. Uh, this is our first time in Central Asia, so it's like, I guess a lot of this stuff just you're driving past and you'll see something that's super old from like the communist era, but I thought uh, this was really cool. Um, I really like it. <laughs> also, there's also one of these in Bishkek and we were just walking along the street. We saw it in Bishkek, it was a big like Russian MiG just right downtown. Uh, we've never seen a Russian MiG before, so this was, this was something that I think is, um, Pretty cool. Pretty cool about Central Asia. You see, you get to see like all the history just, uh, just out in the open. It's no longer, some stuff isn't really developed, so they just leave it as is like this, like Russian MiG monument in the middle of this, just roundabout essentially. We pulled over on the side of the road and uh, got out of the car. We're the only ones out here on this roundabout and there's cars going around, but had to stop at the Russian MiG and get some pictures. I think it's awesome. I wish I could fly one. Well, back to Bish. Back to Bish. Bish, Bish. <laughs>